Once again, to another Old World Gamer Review. Today, I'll be reviewing Joust, a game that was originally uh, put out, I think, in 1982 to arcade and was quickly ported to many systems, um, mostly Atari systems. <laughs> Almost every single Atari system, I believe, had it, uh, including the Lynx as well, I believe. And, uh, yeah, it was also ported to the Nintendo. Um, yeah, obviously, this is the one I'm playing right now. And, uh, yeah, basically you're a dude running around on an ostrich uh, with wings. I know, that's kind of weird. Uh, and apparently, according to the story, the second player rides a stork. But uh, I'm not sure if that's 100% right or not. But anyways, uh, the whole objective of the game is to be higher than any of the other computer players that you're playing against. And to basically, if you're higher than them, they turn into, or you can be lower than them, and they'll kill you, obviously, if and they can. And, uh, and again, okay. Okay, it's been a while since I've played this game, so let's give it a go again. Um, but yeah, basically, if you're higher than the other, uh, the computer player, they'll turn into an egg, and it, you got a race, and you grab the egg or whatever. If you don't grab the egg, um... It'll hatch into one of those same little dudes that are riding the green ostriches, and um, basically they'll become one of the next strongest level of the computer players, I guess. So it'll be a little white dude instead of a little brown dude, and uh, yeah, like that. See, and that's how you kill him. But uh, anyways, yeah, there's also another enemy in this game is a pterodactyl, which. To this day, I, I have never been able to kill it. Uh, apparently, you just uh, actually stand there with your uh, jousting uh, lance, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, it runs into it, and uh, you, you kill it that way. Now, I've never tried this. I've only just recently uh, figured it out, but uh, I've never actually tried it in this review, so you won't actually get to see me do it. And, yeah, as the waves progress, uh, you'll... Uh, you have new obstacles that they'll give you, like the the flames that are down there now. The bridge has been taken out, so now you can't run across the bottom like you could before. But then again, uh, it opens up a whole new fun thing, which uh, you, I'm not sure if you'll see it here now or not. Probably not. But yeah, the, the those little flames that are there are actually little hands that'll pop up and try to grab you. Or the enemy, oh, there's that cocksucking pterodactyl. That thing kills you in one go. Like that. Yeah, wave four. Game over. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Okay, we'll give this another go, yet again. I never said I was awesome at the game, so... And the best thing is, you start off with five lives. Uh, anyways, uh... <laughs> yeah, if, if you actually take your time and, you know, take the game a little more seriously, I guess, uh, then you, you can actually do pretty well with, with the game. I mean, it's not that hard. It's kind of like uh, Balloon Fight, actually. You know, for the most part, I mean, you have to go and hit the little dude before he, you know, he, he pumps up a new balloon and turns into a stronger version of the same enemy. It's more or less the same thing. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, as you progress, new things will happen, like uh, the bridge down there that's uh, at, on the very bottom level. That's probably going to burn out now after the next wave, I believe. And... Uh, what happens then is you'll have these little flames that are there that will uh, that can actually grab you or your your opponents and uh, bring you down into the lava and kill you obviously. But it turns into a little hand and I, and, I, and I love trying to get the enemies to go over that way just because because it just looks so funny to see them getting pulled down every time that they do. Um, but yeah, there's uh, one other enemy in this game that I'm I'm aware of because uh, it's been a while since I've played this and I didn't really play as long as I should have, I guess, but, uh, but in, well, well, there goes one right into the lava, <laughs> that was awesome, but yeah, the other one that I was talking about is, um, 
The pterodactyl, actually. There's a... Oh, and there he is. That, that thing will kill you in one shot if you don't get him the first time. So, uh... And apparently the only way to kill him is to r run into him. You, you have to be in a standing position and uh, let him run into your jousting uh, lance. Oh, there goes another one. And there... Oh, no. Not yet. But, and, yeah, the eggs will fall in. Jesus. The lava does have to work for you if you actually use it enough. But, uh... Oh, and here's a little bonus stage. Collect them all before any of them get rescued. Kind of thing. And, uh... Again, I'm not the best at this game, but, uh... I, I should have gave it a better go than I did. But, yeah, when I, when I was playing this game, the f furthest I've ever gotten is, like, level 40 or 50-something, and... I think that's pretty good, but I mean, I'm sure there are people who've gotten, obviously there's 99 levels, I'm sure there's people who've finished this, if you take your time again and have patience, you can do, you know, you can do this pretty well, so, uh, so yeah, you're basically looking at a strategy of, take your time, if you're worried about the pterodactyl, just stay still on a platform, let him run into your adjusting lance, and he'll die, that's how you get the most points, you get a thousand every time you kill him, so, um, but anyways, uh, well, there's the first one, um, the first of the new, I guess, advanced fighters, and of course he took me out in one go because I'm way too, <laughs> I, I rush around too much when I play this game, oh nice, and see there's one getting picked up now, and now he's a stronger version, so, plop, egg into the water, and come on little hand, do your job, pull him in, pull him, oh he got out of his shit. Oh, great. And here comes the fucking pterodactyl again now. Get away, get away, get away. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, and this is also... This this game is much more fun at yeah, two-player. You can either work together or you can actually compete because you can kill each other, which, like Balloon Fight, makes it way harder. Anyways, I'm the Old World Gamer. Thanks for watching. See you next time.